Every day, we observe strangers, unfamiliar faces, different worlds in the same places. Like attracts like, that's why I find myself here today. Expressing and sharing the one escape, which is always my favorite trip. The world is full of people like me, sharing their mind and soul. A vast array of emotions, leaving you with a need for creation and a lust for life. In this story, I am the main character, and this is just the beginning. Check what I've got, a Sony a7 IV. I managed to grab it on launch day, and I'm actually quite surprised because of the chip shortage that's happening around the world, but here we are. I've got a Sony a7 IV, and I'm making a video about it. So today I want to give my first impressions of the Sony a7 IV for videography. If this is your first time here, my name's Is, and I'm a freelance fashion photographer and videographer. I'm not gonna lie, this upgrade for me was long overdue. I'm currently filming everything on the Sony a7 III, which is still no slouch. It's also been my main camera for the past three years, and I've created so much video content with it, from fashion brand campaigns to music videos, or just even social media content for clients. This video, however, branches out into some new niches where I wanted to be a little bit more experimental and just a little less commercial. And the concept of this video came from my good friend Sophia Carey, who is an amazing photographer and also a film photographer. The idea was pretty simple. We just wanted to create something authentic and cinematic that had a flavor of old school analog. She did the photography and I did the videography. And don't forget to also head over to her channel to check out those amazing images that she took on our collab. Big shout out to the talented Ellis for starring, writing and narrating the short visual story piece. Usually when I'm working with clients my work is very commercial and there's not many opportunities for visual storytelling. And that's something I wanted to try and do today with the Sony a7 IV. I really wanted to see if you can get those cinematic qualities in this camera. I don't know if you've ever seen those Gantt fashion commercials. Uh, ultimately, they are fashion adverts, but with visual stories explored with a little bit of vintage film aesthetics, they look really cool. And they also kind of explore a little bit of character and identity in them. So I wanted to try and create something similar like that. So I also used a bloom filter just to make things look a little more cinematic with some nice halation. And as for my setup, I have the Sony a7 IV pretty much caged using some simple accessories like the small rig top handle and an Andy Cine 4K uh, field monitor. And there is one more thing that I would recommend you get if you do decide to get this camera, which is a V60 UHS-2 card. And this will help you do 4K30 and 4K60 10-bit. But if you decide to use the uncompressed intro codec, then be prepared to spend a lot of money on CF Express cards instead. For the codec, I used S-Log3 Cine Gamut Picture Profile. That way I can get as much dynamic range as possible, but what really makes this upgrade worthwhile is the 10-bit 422 codec. And if you love color grading like I do, then you'll absolutely love the flexibility of grading skin tones and just being able to control all that extra color information that comes with the Sony a7 IV. And on a quick note, if you're interested in the 4K 60 frames per second crop mode um, of this camera, then stay tuned for the next video where I get the chance to film a fashion campaign for one of my clients, and I'll be dropping that sometime next week. So without further ado, here are some before and after footage of the Sony a7 IV in S-Log3, before graded and after graded.
so, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, one more feature I really love about this camera is that the 4K 30 frames per second mode is oversampled from 7K. That means you're getting a much sharper 4K resolution than even the A7S III. I would say that the downside of this mode definitely is the rolling shutter, which leaves you with this jello effect, especially if you're doing any shots that require fast movement and panning. Um, to be honest, a lot of this is minimized in the 4K 60 crop version. And I've got to say, I'm really happy with the camera. For videography, it's almost everything I wanted at a fair price, and I still can't believe I was able to get it at launch, um, which is mad. But once again, please check out Sophia's channel for her side of this collab, especially if you're interested in film photography. And don't forget to check back next week when I drop my video about the Sony a7 IV in the 4K 60 crop mode. I also plan to test this camera out for some photography, um, now that Lightroom does have RAW supported for the a7 IV, so stay tuned for a lot more content with this camera. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Now that I have two separate cameras, you know, one for YouTube and one for work, uh, I'll hopefully be able to stay a little bit more consistent on YouTube weekly, so don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, I'm going to leave you guys with some funny bloopers that we got on our shoot. Uh, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good Christmas. Okay. Okay. Brave soldier. Shot ideas. Don't try this at home, kids. How are you meant to like... Lift it all the way up. You test it and then I'll try it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, look at it, it's working. Okay, I think the first take was better. Thank you, team. Is that good, yeah? That's a wrap. <laughs>